Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a world famous recipe of kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean dish but this is my version of vegetarian kimchi in a very simple way. So let's see what all do we need for this. We'll need one half a kg of napa cabbage and one medium sized carrot, one fourth of radish. I've taken white onion, half a white onion, seven to eight cloves of garlic, half an inch of ginger and sugar, one teaspoon, rice powder, one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder, one fourth cup of Himalayan rock salt and you can use any other salt also. So let's start making our wonderful kimchi in a very easy way. So the first step in making our kimchi is to cut our vegetables. So I'm going to make a cut in the center of the cabbage and like this we will just tear it apart. So it will come off like this very easily. Now it's up to you how you want to cut it. There is no set rules to that. So just make bite sized pieces like this. And you can just remove the core. Take the hard part of the leaves also, but remove the core. This one we won't use. So this way, just cut your entire cabbage. And once it is cut, take a large bowl and put all the cabbage in this. Now it needs to be washed very thoroughly at least two to three times so that any kind of dirt is removed. So we're going to wash it very, very thoroughly. Okay, so I have washed the cabbage at least three times with water very nicely. Now I'll take the leaves in a big bowl and I will sprinkle the salt on all the leaves. Now you have to make sure the salt is coated on all the leaves very nicely so that all the water can get extracted from the cabbage. Like so. And once we are doing this step, after this, we have to keep it for at least two hours. Okay, in between, you can keep on moving the leaves so that all the leaves are coated well. And you have to leave it for two hours so that all the water is extracted. So, then we can start making our kimchi and mixing it nicely. So this is the only time consuming process in this whole recipe and otherwise it's quite a simple dish. So that's all. All the cabbage is coated. I'll make sure that it is, all the leaves are coated very nicely and let it sit for two hours. And to easily extract the water from the cabbage, it's a good idea to place a heavy bowl on the top of the cabbage and let it sit for two hours. In between, after every half an hour, I'll keep on mixing the cabbage so that the water is extracted properly. And we have to make a slurry of the rice flour also for this. So we'll take one fourth cup of water and we'll add the rice flour to this and give it a good mix. Now we have to cook this water for at least one or two minutes till it becomes a thick paste and then it will be ready to be added to our kimchi. So you can see how quickly the bubbles have started coming. And once you see a lot of bubbles and it has thickened, that's a sign that your rice slurry is made. And we have to wait for it to cool down. Only then can we add it to the kimchi. And now we'll cut our vegetables. You can use as many vegetables in this. I will be using today the carrot and the radish. So just this way, we are going to cut them into thin slices. So like this, you just cut it into thin slices. And the same way, we will just cut the radish into these rounds. And then if you take one round of it, just cut it like this. So it will become like the matchstick cut. And this way, just cut. So we have to make a paste of the onion, ginger and garlic together and make it into a smooth paste. 
can add a little water so that we can make the paste easy and in the same paste you can right now add the sugar also so our paste is ready and now I'm going to add this rice slurry to it it has cooled down now I will just add it along with the paste just mix it well and now we can add our chilies now you can either get the Korean chili flakes which are specially made for the kimchi but even if you don't have that you can add just any red chili powder and it will also taste good so the slurry that we made of the rice flour what is what it does is it helps to coat the cabbage leaves into a nice paste so it's an optional step but it's a good to do step so this way just give it a good mix and our paste is ready so after two hours let's see how our cabbage is doing see it has left all the water and this shows that the salt has done its work now we are going to wash the cabbage for at least three to four times to make sure that the excess salt is gone and then we can make the final thing so i have rinsed the cabbage very thoroughly at least three to four times and it is a little bit salty but not too much of salt and i've added one teaspoon of salt in my paste as well so you can just taste it and accordingly add the salt it can be more or less according to your choice so now in this paste we'll wear the gloves so that it doesn't sting our hands the chilies so now we are going to put our daikon or the radish and the carrots into this paste so now give it a mix and now slowly and gradually add the cabbage and try to coat the cabbage in the paste very very nicely Okay, so now the vegetables are all coated very nicely with the paste that we made and it's looking absolutely yummy and now is the time to transfer it to the glass jar. Okay, so I have taken an airtight glass jar which is nicely washed and dry. Now I'm going to add the kimchi little by little and we have to make sure that we don't fill the jar up completely it needs to have some room to breathe otherwise it will be difficult for the fermentation and it might come out of the jar so leave some headroom for it so keep on pressing your kimchi while you're putting it in the jar like this keep on pressing and then the entire mixture can go into the jar with the kind of quantity that I have explained you today, this much of kimchi would be made in one go. So you can see we still have a lot of room on the top of the jar and it's not completely till the top. It's very important that you don't fill it up till the top. Leave some room for it. Okay, so I have closed the jar lid now and I will keep it on the kitchen counter for 24 to 48 hours and every day I have to open the jar and let the air go out so that it doesn't boil outside the container. So it's a little bit necessary step that you do not air tightly close it and you can check the taste if you want more fermented you can keep it for three four days also depends on the weather where you stay and in the hotter weather it is easier to ferment in colder it takes a little more longer so once it reaches your desired fermentation taste you can keep it in the fridge and this can stay in the fridge for several weeks 
So I hope you like today's recipe. This recipe goes very well with rice soups and many other dishes. Now for the tip of the day, whenever you are using a container for kimchi, make sure it is a glass container. Do not use any metal or plastic container as the fermentation happens the best in a glass container. So please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with more recipes in my next videos. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.